cold hard truth. You just gotta be ready to got a backup plan. You gotta find stuff to do. So, if any of you guys are interested in math and science and do stuff like that, you can come talk to me. So, um, but um, that's just a little bit about myself. So, what I want to focus on today, though, is the nutrition side of things. So, the health and nutrition side of things. All of you guys should have gotten um, this packet right here. Raise your hand if you didn't. Okay, so. I seen it yet. okay, so. Um, if you guys didn't get this, you guys will get this. We're gonna go through, we're gonna touch over kind of a high level of a, of a lot of this stuff, and then we're gonna give us some questions and answers. Um, you know, ask any questions you guys have about just general health and fitness and, and kind of how you guys gotta be fueling as athletes. Um, so, first up, let's just scroll. Table of contents. So, within this packet, we have a mindset and habit coaching within the mindset um, habit coaching there's going to be some homework you guys are going to do um, you're just going to read through this and you're going to read through everything make sure you guys are digesting it all come with questions anything you have like the like coach said lock in because you're only going to get out of this as much out of this as you put in if you're not putting in the effort you're not going to get as much out of it so put in as much effort as possible guys all right so um some things so uh i said this before i don't know if you guys remembered it um here's some quotes that i like uh i put them both in here so your, your, your beliefs become your thoughts your thoughts become your words your words become your actions your actions become your habits your habits your values and your values become your destiny so it all starts with how you think if you have negative thoughts on a daily basis probably uh, thinking negatively things are not going to turn out well and that's where most of the people that if you like, uh, I don't know, you probably come across some people in your life, you probably haven't, where they talk mostly negative. Everything out of their mouth is, like, they're the victim, it's never their fault, it's someone else's fault, it's always, you know, that it's always someone else. It's not like, okay, what can I do to, you know, remedy the situation? Because in this world, everything that happens to you can, um, can be thought of either negatively or positively. How you react is how the outlet is, what dictates the outcome. You can have a, 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 a stinky situation happen. If you come at it with a negative mindset, it's just gonna end up negative. If you come at it with full stride and you're like, I gotta make something positive out of it, then it's gonna be positive. Um, and then the, one of the things that I, you know, as an engineer, as you learn, um, is you gotta fail fast, you gotta, you gotta fail often, you gotta fail forward, so failing is fine. Failing is, is actually good, it's how you learn. If you're always succeeding, you don't know what failure is, if that failure at some point comes, you can be devastated. Mm. So the idea here is try to fail, honestly. Try to fail. If you can't do something, just try to do it. If you fail, fail, fail fast, fail often, fail forward. If you guys aren't, if you guys have that person in your life that's like constantly like coming at you, saying negative things, you fail, put you down, cut them off. Um, one of the biggest things that I learned uh, as I got older is the people that are negative in your life that are putting you down, you know, bullying you, making fun of you, cut them. You don't need them. Out of your life. Get the negativity out of your life. Um, so that's kind of a high level of that. So make sure you guys are just going through this. Um, it just gets into more specific things of like having a fixed versus growth mindset. Um, what I just kind of touched on was that, that fixed versus growth mindset a little bit. So when you have a fixed mindset, you're the victim. You're always like, okay, I'm, I'm where I'm at right now, I can never be better than where I'm at. I can pull this up for you guys. No, I'm just so, don't have fixed mindsets. We, nothing's permanent. If you, if you guys take away anything, take away this. Nothing's permanent. No situation is permanent. You can always be better. You can always get better. You can always push out of a negative situation. And that's what that growth mindset is. That growth mindset is having that ambition, that drive to make things better. If you guys are in crappy situations right now, nothing's ever permanent. You can always get out of that. That's not the mindset. Mm. Um, so, you start with mistakes versus failures, that's it? Yeah. Number two, under the introduction. Okay, yeah, let's uh, yeah, let's jump down to that. So we'll jump down to that. So if you want to jump down, so yeah, that's going to be, yeah, so we'll get to that in a second. So right here, this kind of gives you a more in-depth uh, view into that growth versus fixed mindset. So if you zoom in a little bit. Which one do you want? At top. Maybe if you can, yeah, if you, if you pinch right there. You can also pinch right there. If you pinch it, just like that. Oh, like that. Oh, like that. Okay. Two mindsets. 
Um, so again, this is what I was talking about. You know, with a fixed mindset, you're avoiding challenges, you're giving up easily, you're seeing effort as fruitless or worse, uh, you're ignoring useful negative feedback. Also, like, when someone's, don't confuse, like, someone putting you down with negative, or with, with constructive criticism. So, like, if someone's telling you you're doing something wrong, you know, process it, take it in. Um, don't just, you know, push off people that are trying to make you better. Uh, so, yeah, so like right here, learn from criticism. If you guys want me to touch on anything more in depth as we go through this, just let me know. But again, make sure you guys are going through it. All right, so challenges. Again, you can see like in the case of challenges, obstacles, effort, criticism, or success of others, you have your fix and your growth mindset. Um, one thing that I like a lot too, um, like to think about too, something that I also have been working on is like success of others. So if you have people around you that are succeeding, don't let them down, like help them. Don't ever be that kind of person that's that's taken away from someone else's success because your time will come. Um, someone with a with the, with the growth mindset is going to be all about you know helping that person out, seeing what, how you can make their life better, see how you can you know improve um, on on their situation because it'll come back to you. I don't I don't really believe in karma. Karma is just you being a positive person, giving all positive energy. That's going to come back to you. Oh, and the one other thing. Uh, be of service to others. Don't, don't be the kind of person that gives with the expectation of receiving something. Be of service and don't and expect nothing. If you get something back, even better. Give, expect nothing. I promise you, and I'm going a long way. All right, going down. So mistakes and failures. So mistakes, this, this again, I touched on this already. Mistakes are gonna happen. It's impossible to avoid mistakes. Everybody's gonna fail, like I said. Fail fast and fail forward. Fail fast, fail forward, fail often. It's, if you want to seek out there, Google. So you guys can look this up. But Google did a. Um, they they have a mindset in there. I forget what like it's their like one of their um, research labs. They have the the mindset, and it's I think it's like a top secret it's, uh, research lab. It's where they did the Google Glass. I don't know if you guys are too young to remember like the Google Glass like that. Was supposed to be like a big thing, right? You got, any of you guys remember that or know what that is? So that was supposed to be a big thing, it flopped. So that's like one of the things, they, they try to invent things, and they try to invent it fast, it doesn't work, move on. Like it, it, the idea is if you fail, whatever, just push it to the side and move on. You're never gonna know if, you're, if you create something new, you're never gonna be able to create something new, do something better, do something different if you don't try. Keep going. Looking down. That uh, did you have any other questions on mistakes and failures or? Okay. Um, and then, like I said, go through this. It's going to have some useful information in terms of just helping you set your goals, set your mindset. If you're thinking about this kind of stuff, because right now I'm at a very high level, you got to be thinking about how this applies to your life and how you can, you know, again, apply it to your life. So again, within here, it also has, you know, goal setting. Just setting goals, smart goals. Does anybody know what a smart goal is? Uh, anybody? You say what is a smart goal? Yeah, what is a smart goal? It's an acronym. Um, something that you know you can reach. Yes, that's good. You have you have a specific. It's a specific acronym. Each S M A R T stands for something. Specific, measurable, is it attainable? Uh, that's all I know. and time. So, whenever you're setting goals, uh, use this. But as as you get used to it and as you as you do this, it just becomes a second nature. You don't even need to think about it anymore. Everything you do will be in terms of okay, can I can I do this? How long does it take? This this goes in this goes in with you know performance training or skills training. You know what's your goal? Your goal is to jump higher. How are you going to get there? You're gonna if you're gonna put on 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds on your squat over. A month. Is that possible? Okay. That's all it takes. You hit that goal. If you don't hit that goal, you think about it. Why did I hit that goal? What can I do better? Was I training every day? Was I overtraining? Was I undertraining? Start thinking. Uh, so you 
uh, performance goals, outcome goals. Again, go through this guide, read this, and make sure we get the goal. Uh, so here's the spot you can enter in your goals. Just some questions. 